This is the Minneapolis Police Department fatally shooting Amir Locke during the execution of a search warrant for SBPD, where Amir was not listed as a person of interest, according to an attorney who has spoken to the family. Now, trigger warning, police brutality, trigger warning, white supremacist, racist acts of violence. We are going to be covering the story right now. There is rising outrage this morning over a no-knock police search in Minneapolis that led to a deadly shooting by SWAT team officers. Police video of the raid was released yesterday. We must warn you, it is disturbing to watch. 22-year-old Amir Locke was lying on a couch when officers burst in as part of a murder investigation. Police say he pointed a gun at the officers and was shot, but the city's interim police chief say Locke was not the man the officers were looking for. Jerika Duncan is following the investigation and the demand for answers from Locke's family. Jerika, good, good morning. Good morning to all of you. Um, activists demanded the release of this body cam footage after Wednesday morning's raid. The Minneapolis Police Department has been under scrutiny for years, but the department the department was put under the national spotlight, of course, in May in 2020 after the killing of George Floyd. This latest incident is igniting calls to put an end. So people are saying it's not a murder investigation. People are saying he didn't point the gun. I have not seen it yet. I have not seen the entire details yet. This just happened. This is an ongoing issue. If he pointed a gun, isn't that kind of expected? No, the fuck not. Because those guys should not be doing that. The court system should not be issuing no-knock warrants like this. And people should not be fucking breaking in to people's apartments. Like, violent paramilitaries should not be able to break into your fucking apartment like this. It's crazy. You can't have both the Second Amendment and then justify this kind of action. You can't have both. Why the fuck does he have a gun? Why the fuck do we have a Second Amendment? They should if they are criminals. What happens when they're not under the active investigation, when they're not covered by the search warrant, but now they're fucking dead? You're just sitting at home, you have a gun, and they just blast through your fucking door. What are you supposed to do? The idea that we still have no-knock warrants is absolutely insane. It's just a way for fucking hoorah dickheads to operate like John Rambo. These roided up freaks literally get off on doing these no-knock warrants and shit. Like, it's insane. Motherfuckers on Twitter already trying to find if he had priors. I hope they get no knock warranted, honestly. Like every time I hear a story like this, when a dude just gets fucking clapped by the police department at his own fucking house, at his own home, sitting on his own couch. And people are like, well, were there priors? Let's try to fucking figure out if we can justify this from the media point of view. You are bloodthirsty, you are violent. And I do hope that maybe one day you'll understand how fucking awful that is. In the early morning hours of Wednesday, Minneapolis police officers gently placed the key in a city apartment door before bursting through the doorway yelling police search warrant according to a body camera footage released by city officials Thursday night. In the seconds that followed, a black man, Amir Locke, apparently asleep and shown to be holding a gun upon awakening, was shot and killed. Police say he was not named in any search warrants before the entry and attorneys for the man's family say he was in legal possession of his firearm. Police say the warrant was connected to a homicide investigation. Fatal shootings bring further scrutiny to the use of no-knock warrants and shines a spotlight on a police department that has faced criticism before. Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman announced Friday that he asked Minnesota Attorney uh, General Keith Ellison to join in his review of the shooting. There's no justification for this. You can't do that. You can't just like fucking burst into a dude's house and then kill him because he has a gun. How about don't burst into the dude's house? How about fucking knock? It's crazy, man. It's completely fucking crazy. To no-knock warrants where officers can enter the premises without notifying residents. Body cam video shows Minneapolis SWAT officers turning a key into the door of apartment 701 at the Bolero. Everyone who dies on either side of the no-knock warrants are victims of the police either side. Yeah, I mean, it's fucking nuts. It's nuts, dude. It's nuts. This is why it's like super mega illegal to fucking SWAT people because they do come in like this sometimes. People die when you do this shit, you know, and, and it does happen. And it's fucking bananas because like cops should not be doing this shit. This should be a complete last second measure. No shot. And this should not be happening at all. I don't believe in no-knock warrants. I think it's fucking ridiculous. Like, completely unacceptable. People fucking praise the military for doing shit like this overseas and then turn it right around and defend cops doing it on American soil. No, I think it's disgusting when the military does it overseas, too. I, I think it's always disgusting. Arrow flats just yeah, at this point, like, if you're looking at a situation like this and you're like, no, nah, it's justifiable, bro. Homie should not have had a gun in his own house. Just say you're a fucking white supremacist, dude. I would rather have you say you're just a fucking white supremacist at this point. Like, I'm sick and tired of having this dance over and over again. Every time a black person does self-defense, unacceptable. Every time a white person does self-defense or behaves like a fucking cop, totally acceptable, totally justifiable. We get it, bro. You just, you, you want to fucking preserve the integrity of the white race. Okay, got it.
it's not gonna happen so you just like try to get your fucking licks in anywhere you can and it's usually just the most pathetic way possible which is by defending a violent brutal untrained gung-ho paramilitary exercising the only violence that is allowed for the state's monopoly of violence oh shit you guys just okay don't come in yet hold on let me let me finish the story myth and austin are here and they're hanging out don't knock the stream. Stop. Stop. Don't make jokes. This is a serious news matter that I'm trying to cover with the seriousness and integrity that it deserves. Anyway, let's continue. After 6.30 Wednesday morning, officers enter and can be heard shouting with guns. I mean, dude, look at this. He's literally under that blanket. He's like sleeping. The entirety of policing needs to be reinvented. MPD asked the judge to make it no knock after St. Paul police said it was a regular search warrant. It's just insane. You're sleeping on your couch and violent paramilitary. They don't even fucking knock on the door and say, police, we have a search warrant. They literally get the key from your landlord. They unlock your door and they burst in and then they start yelling, flashing lights in your fucking face. Like this is why we get mad or why people get mad at Stalinist Russia. Why people get mad at the fucking KGB. Why people get mad at like all these authoritarian countries. You understand that, right? You can't be constantly talking about how fucking shitty China is and how shitty Russia is and how shitty all these other countries are. And then when this is happening in our country, in our fucking backyard to our brothers and sisters, you're like, I don't know. Seems justifiable. I'm going to find any way and every way I can to fucking justify this shit. It is mind-boggling that the government is allowed to just do home invasions. It's mind-boggling that the government is allowed to fucking kidnap you. It's mind-boggling that the government is allowed without any sort of fucking prior, like, actual research and proper protocols and proper sign-offs. Like, the way that the sign-off system works is insane. You just go there and you're like, listen, we're all buddies. We're all buddy-buddy. Give me the fucking allowance to do this. Like, I want to be able to execute motherfuckers. That's crazy. That's completely unacceptable. This should not be a fucking tool in the arsenal of the police force. Amir Law carried a handgun because he was a DoorDash driver and with news of increased carjackings, he wanted to protect himself while doing DoorDash to make sure that nothing happens to him. His father, Andre Locke, says, all the fucking dumbass white supremacists were like hyper focusing on whether Breonna Taylor actually was asleep or not. Like, no, she wasn't asleep when she got shot by the fucking cops, but she was in her house in an identical situation to this one. Like, if you find yourself straying away, whether deliberately or without you recognizing that you're doing this, from the main point of the conversation, which is another life was taken by our military police force, our militant, violent, untrained police force took yet another black person's life in their own house while they're fucking under the covers or while they're fucking sleeping or after waking them up in another no-knock warrant raid, which is just a death squad. Like, that's just a death squad. Here, I'll use terms that you understand. I'll use Latin American terms or I'll use terms that we would only use in Africa or MENA in general. That is a death squad. That's a government death squad. When you facilitate a no-knock warrant, you are doing a government death squad. When you do civil asset forfeiture, you are doing a government-backed uh, and government-subsidized theft. You're giving tax dollars to the police department to then come around, turn around, and steal your shit. It is perfectly legal. They can do that. And this happens like once a year or twice a year. It's crazy. It's like, yeah, dude, sorry. You know, you could just fucking get murked in your own house. Sorry, GG's, you know, nothing you can do about that. Amir Locke was asleep on the couch under the covers when the police entered at the crack of dawn. He hears the fucking commotion. He grabs his firearm. He does not point it at the officers. He just grabs his firearm, understandably, because he doesn't know what the fuck's going on. He thinks like people are breaking into his house. Cops open fire and kill him. He's not even a fucking a target of the warrant. The gun is completely legal and he's killed. Police use the no knock warrant opened up and began screaming at the dude at first this is going to look worse than brianna taylor in the gun that was never even pointed no shots fired they just wasted the dude half asleep on the couch remember all the reforms we were promised police unions have been on a tear pumping money and intimidation to the spineless politicians to roll back even the slightest protection of the community Biden meeting with mayor cop mayor uh adams the rollback reforms to start the tough on crime movement which never actually stopped remember nothing and i mean nothing came of the fucking black lives matter protests in the aftermath of george floyd's execution nothing nothing the only thing that happened was more propaganda more pro-cop propaganda the reason why you heard about like how los angeles is literally on fire oh my god cities are on fucking fire police budgets are being cut back they're being defunded it's like no cops never fucking stop petty crime okay cops don't stop crime in general but they never actually solve fucking petty crimes they're not very good at solving they don't have like a good fucking conviction uh, rate for many many different kinds of crimes but now they can just use that laziness as a justification because oh we're just too defunded we just don't have we're spread too thin we're too fucking defunded their clearance rate is low they're never good they're, they've never been good at this shit 
They're never held accountable for the awful shit that they do. And we move on. We continue. Okay? We continue. We continue with the same song and dance. In a normal country, something like this happens, like, there's institutional reform. There's, like, actual changes that come along with it, you know? In America, we're just like, yeah, fuck it. Don't, don't think about it too much. Come on. We need the cops to do this sort of stuff. This story itself has, like, a fucking three-day, maybe maximum a week on the burner before everybody fucking forgets about it. Guns drawn as they approach 22-year-old Amir Locke, lying on the couch wrapped in a blanket. A gun can be seen in Locke's hand just before officers open fire, only about nine seconds after entering the apartment. The police department says Locke... He pulls it out, but he doesn't even fucking point it. He's just terrified. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on. He's just scared. He's waking up on his couch to a bunch of people with flashlights and guns pointed at him. His finger's not on the trigger pointed the gun in the direction of the officers. Officer Mark Hanneman fired three shots, two of them hitting Locke in the chest and one in the wrist. Locke was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Minneapolis interim police chief Amelia Huffman says SWAT officers were executing both a knock and no knock high risk search warrant in a homicide investigation. The officer had to make a split second decision to assess the circumstances and determine whether he felt like there was an articulable threat. Huffman says Locke was not named in the search warrant, and it's unclear if he is connected to the homicide investigation. Huffman also con on this confirmed officers recovered items that they believe are related to the case. Civil rights lawyer Ben Crump is representing the family and in a statement compared the shooting to the botched raid where police serving a no-knock warrant killed Breonna Taylor in her home in Louisville, Kentucky in 2020, saying in part, this is yet another example of why we need to put an end to these kinds of search warrants so that one day black Americans will be able to sleep safely in their beds at night. If you're doing a no-knock warrant, you want to be stealthy. You want to enter before the... They had his key to his apartment. What do you mean knock or no-knock? What the fuck? That's what a no-knock warrant is. Your house is your domicile. That's your safe haven. In America, we value private property above all else, right? So the place you live is incredibly important to you. Cops have rules that they are supposed to abide by. They can't just like fucking knock your door down and go inside. It's your castle. So no-knock warrants, the distinction between no-knock warrants and, and like regular search warrants being issued is knocking on the door and announcing your presence as a police officer and treating the other party as a human being people realize that you're there. Professor of law at the University of St. Thomas, Mark Osler. People's empathy is going to lie with the eyes that they see it through. If you see it through the eyes of the people entering the room in blue, you're going to be thinking about that gun that could kill you. If you see it through the eyes of the person lying on the couch who's suddenly awakened and there's people rushing towards you, that's going to be a very different perspective. Locke's family and attorney Ben Crump will be holding a news conference later this morning. Locke did not have a criminal record in Minnesota, and his family says he had a permit for the gun. Activist groups are calling for Officer Hanneman to be arrested and charged with murder. He is now on administrative leave pending an investigation into the incident. And keep in mind, you all, we only... Nothing will happen to him, I don't think. Let's be fucking 100% real. No shot. And the other part of this is more so than the cop, who is a fucking piece of shit for obviously blasting immediately. But there is another part that is at play here. There, there's a larger problem here than putting this fucking hopped up, steroided psycho with a gun and like very little fucking training and no accountability into a situation where he's going to, of course, blast. And that is the system itself. That is the allowance for no-knock raids. That is the idea that like, you know, politicians run on abolishing no-knock raids and then refuse to do so. It's the court system that like allows cops to still get special no-knock rate privileges regardless. It's not meeting the fucking metric for a no-knock rate ever and still being able to get it from specific judges that are tough on crime. I mean, this is a powder keg. When you have like a 25 year old or whatever the fuck, however old he is, who has been trained to shoot and shoot to kill, that's what he's been trained to do his entire fucking life. 22 year old with very little training other than just escalation, 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 you know, mag dump, mag dump, mag dump. And you put him in that situation where like he's excited. This is like an exciting opportunity. This is just like Call of Duty. This is just like Rainbow Six Siege. No, I'm not talking about the cop. I'm not talking about the kid. I'm talking about the cop. The one that shot and killed the 22-year-old, Amir Locke. I wasn't talking about the victim. I'm saying when you put cops in a situation like this, the system is at fault as well.
Of course he's going to fucking blast. Of course he's going to shoot. That's what he's been trained to do. We saw about nine to ten seconds of video. Yeah. Right. Uh, so it's unclear if Ben Crump and the family have seen more than that. But of course, uh, we expect to learn more at that news conference today. Yeah, I saw a freeze frame of the gun and it appeared to be pointing down. But again, that's a freeze frame. If you're a police officer rushing into a situation, you see a gun. You don't say, is it up? Is it down? Right. And, but it's so troubling to me because you rush in, the guy is sleeping on the couch. He doesn't know what is happening. He has a gun, and, and I think in his mind, maybe he's trying to protect. There is just, there is, okay, yeah, there is. Simple as. I will, hold on. Um, let's figure out how to do this, though, because the third one I don't think is noise-gated.